Hello, I'm Mary Robinson Reynolds and thank you for coming to this video on Make a Difference with the Power of Acknowledgement for Organizations. You know, um, I don't think anybody can be in their professional career for 36 years and not have been involved in some organization all, along the way. And, and my guess is that if you're here watching this video right now is that you're wanting to take your organization to the next level and you know that it's going to take a, a level of a team synergy to take uh, your purpose, your mission, uh, what you're trying to get out there uh, to the next level. So um, you're at the right place and I'm excited to visit with you about this program. Make a difference with the power of acknowledgement for organizations is, is similar in structure to the business video and so if you want to get a little bit more information about that I would welcome you to go watch the business video because uh, you are a business and while you may be nonprofit you're still a business uh, the difference between you and a business is that you are dealing uh, not only with staff and growing this organization but you're dealing with volunteers and uh, we all know that that's an interesting road that not everyone shows up with the same uh, work modality uh, about how they're going to show up and help on any given day. In fact, when I think of volunteers uh, and working with them, I think of people who really, really care and who have a, a big social interest and how they actually focus and get things done is uh, all the way across the board. So you have to be able to understand all the different personality styles and I did include uh, personality styles in this program, just a segment, not the entire program that I have, but it is the part on the strengths of each personality style because that is in fact what you need to focus on. Um, I want to say that one of the things about math is that when two or more my people come together in the spirit of harmony for an objective or goal that you know it is like one and one now equals three. Um, there was some research uh, conducted many years ago uh, which measured how much each of two oxen could pull by themselves and they put the yoke on the first ox and measured the amount of weight he could pull and then they did the same with the second ox Finally, they yoked the two oxen together and they found that together they could pull much more than the sum of what each could pull alone. When two or more minds come together, the result is greater than the sum of its parts. And that's what organizations are. That's what organizations do. They are ordinary people achieving extraordinary results for some kind of greater good. And so we're really excited about this program uh, for your organization to take it to the next level because uh, what it invites people to do is to get into their hearts, their minds, and their spirits and to find that common ground. Let our defenses down. So I've brought in six of my best movies and I designed this program around them with discussion questions, with activities, and of course as I've mentioned uh, in the opening video, the welcome video, that you can lay this program out to meet the needs of your organization. And so I've been involved in many organizations over the last 36 years and I just want to talk about two today that uh, are relevant because of their leaders and uh, how I was influenced by their leadership largely because of how they acknowledged their team of people that they surrounded themselves with. The first uh, organization I want to visit with you about is the Oregon Speakers Association which I became involved in and the, the president of that association, Carol Peterson, had come on at a time when the, uh, the association was in the red and um, she brought me on to be the marketing director and a, a, a group of people uh, in covering every area and she was very intentional and she had a vision that she wanted to accomplish in her year as president 
And I, first of all, I was inspired by that. But second, I was really inspired by how she acknowledged each and every one of us for our talents that we brought to the table. And she unified us as a team. And one of the first things she did was she, had, uh, on our retreat, our get to know each other retreat, is we sat down and did personality styles. We did the colors, and which is now the program that I do today and deliver today. Uh, because of what happened, uh, we each found out about ourselves in a way that we could really accept uh, our strengths. And so I have included that in this program, as I've mentioned um, many times before. Well, at the end of that year, I was awarded the Outstanding Member of the Year. But I want to say that it was because of her, of Carol's leadership. Because she was so acknowledging, I just couldn't do enough for her. And so, you know, that got me this award that I really didn't even know how to accept. But uh, I really, when I think of that, I think of her. The second organization I want to talk about is very near and dear to my heart. It's called Camp Opportunity. And uh, the, the founder and the director of this amazing camp for uh, at-risk kids was uh, created by Carrie Garman. And she created a camp for kids who were coming out of, into foster care, had very severe emotional trauma, disabilities, and she created a camp every summer, uh, camps for kids, where each child got their own counselor. And then she brought me in to do the overall training with the camp counselors and their, their plus one. And so I would get to work with the, the whole group. What a visionary, you know, what a vision. And these kids, you know, with emotional ranges all over the place, got somebody all week long to just listen and to acknowledge them. And so her camp has uh, received so much attention over the years and has she's done so much work for at-risk kids. And so I got to be a part of that. The point I'm making here is this. When people acknowledge, heartfelt acknowledgement, find the talent and the gifts within each individual people want to show up for you. So if you're here because it's your organization and you're running this organization, never, ever, ever lose sight of this one little piece that can turn things around on a dime, even if what you're facing is uh, if you're, come, you're in the red like we were at one time. We were in the black and plus after that year and uh, in the Oregon Speakers Association and of course Carrie Garman gathered funds from the entire community all year long to put on this camp every summer. So I know the challenges that you're facing in fundraising. I've been on many fundraiser committees and everybody shows up differently, you know, and everybody's got an agenda. And the one thing that soothes things down very quickly is this practice of acknowledgement. And so if you're a leader of an organization, just know if you do it with great consistency, let's say you reach out and acknowledge every person at every meeting in some way, in an honest, authentic way, I mean, don't fluff it up, you know, don't do a false positive, don't blow wind up their skirts, just find that thing and they'll give you more each and every time. So I've set this program up for you to do it again a variety of ways for your needs based on what uh, you're trying to accomplish. So if we're ready to go to the next level, click on the link at the bottom of this page that says Organization. and It'll take you into the organization website. You'll get six movies, You'll get PowerPoint presentation slides. It also has a place for you to download the entire You Training Coach program. I'm going to show you exactly what you're going to be delivering. So you get to go in there and see for yourself. You don't get to print it out, but you get to download it and read through everything. You will get the printout, the printable version, when you invest in the program. I'd like to see you 
go forward with this and thank you again for giving me a few moments of your time and please send us your successes let us know what happens because we love sharing the information with others out there it gives everybody hope and to make this world a better place and that's what it's all about bye